This is the CLA. It's Mercedes-Benz's entry-level car. What should you know about it? Let's start with how it drives. Powering the CLA is a four-cylinder turbocharged engine paired with a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. The Duo knocks out rapid, near-seamless gear changes and responsive power with only a hint of turbo lag. Floored from a stop, the CLA is quick enough to justify its racy looks, sprinting from zero to 60 in a little less than seven seconds. Given its spunky character, the CLA is surprisingly efficient, returning an EPA-estimated 38 miles per gallon on the freeway. Helping make that possible is a 0.23 drag coefficient. For perspective, that's better than the Prius's 0.25 figure. Kind of makes you wonder why they don't make sexier hybrids. Adding to the CLA's in-town economy is an engine start-stop system. It works pretty good, actually. When you take your foot off the brake, the engine restarts, but it's not too intrusive, just a little vibration, a little sound. Small sacrifice for a good improvement in fuel economy. Power in the CLA is sent to the front wheels, which for some elite enthusiasts might be a problem, but honestly, it's a non-issue for two reasons. One, the CLA is plenty playful. The steering is quick and precise and engaging, and when you throw it in the corners, you really, really have to be pushing it to feel that understeer that enthusiasts hate so much in front drive cars. Point number two, ask 10 people whether or not their cars are front or rear wheel drive. No, seriously, ask them. I'd love to hear the responses. I'm willing to bet that the vast majority of them don't know or care. Not unlike the vast majority of CLA buyers. As for ride comfort, the car I'm driving in is a little bit stiff, but it's also equipped with the Sport Package, which includes a sport suspension and high-performance 18-inch tires. The regular car should ride a little bit better. Other observations, the brakes feel good with a nice firm pedal. And wind noise at freeway speed, it's pretty quiet in here actually. It might have something to do with that 0.23 drag coefficient. Okay, so the CLA drives well, but there's more to a car than just road manners. The interior, for example. This might be the cheap Mercedes, but the CLA's interior looks and feels perfectly premium. A few plasticky bits betray the car's sub $30,000 base price, but overall, it's a nice, sporty execution. If there's a major shortcoming, it's interior space. Front seat headroom and elbow room is fine, but the center stack kind of crowds your inboard leg. Rear seat headroom is tight in all positions, though the real challenge might just be getting back here. This dipping roof line might look cool, but it comes with a price. And as long as we're griping, the climate controls are placed really low, far from the driver's line of sight. Also, the front seat backs could be softer, and the bolsters put pressure on your shoulders. That said, they're comfortable enough, and with integrated headrests, they sure do look cool. On a practical note, trunk space is a decent 13.1 cubic feet, supplemented by split-folding rear seats. What about the competition? If you view it as a four-door coupe competitor for cars like the BMW 3 Series, Cadillac ATS, and Audi A4, the CLA shines as a comparative bargain. If you price it against true entry luxury cars, like the A3 sedan, it's still priced competitively. For a hair under $30,000, not including destination charges, you can buy a CLA 250 with Bluetooth, power memory seats, rain sensing wipers, and eight airbags, including dual knee airbags. Naturally, there are a bunch of options available as well. Highlights include an upgraded infotainment system with seven inch display, navigation, and a backup camera, heated front seats, a Harman Kardon audio system, an automatic parking system, lane departure warning, dynamic cruise control, and this lovely panoramic sunroof. A cavalcade of technology and feature-rich goodness is yours for the taking, provided you're willing to pay the price. Load out a CLA 250 and you'll pay about $45,000. For around $48,000, you can step up to the high-performance CLA 45 AMG, which sports a generally angrier attitude backed by a 355 horsepower four-cylinder engine, a performance-tuned dual-clutch transmission, and standard all-wheel drive. Ticking off zero to 60 runs in the mid-fours, this is a CLA that enthusiasts can really embrace. The Mercedes-Benz CLA might be the luxury car for commoners, but that doesn't mean it's a poser. If you're willing to deal with the constraints of a tight interior, it'll reward you with satisfying handling, tons of style, great fuel economy, and solid value. Yeah, it might be the cheap one, but the CLA, it's a worthwhile addition to the Mercedes-Benz family.